as the soldering iron is cooling down here and just as a tip when your soldering iron is cooling down take some solder and just kind of put it on and uh, you'll find that uh, having that little bit on the tip helps for next time that's just uh, another quick soldering tip there because it really does help I use it to tin the tip at the end because it lost all the solder I put on last time and I find if you tin it two or three times no, I'm just going to tin it every time you use it for two or three times and then clean it. Using the damp rag method I showed you, it's really simple. Just take a rag with cold water, voila, wipe the tip on it, and that's it. Okay, moving on. We have resoldered both of these. Now, something I wanted to pay attention to is the length here. They come with a battery tab. If you're, so, if you're soldering onto one that doesn't have a battery tab, you're going to want to solder right to the edge so that you have the room the first time i soldered this it wouldn't come to pass here and i didn't have the room to fit it in the casing properly they are intended to have a little bit of room here like this you see this the black doesn't have enough room okay so i'm gonna have to move that solder right to the edge guys so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our battery put it in here okay i'll be right back hold on okay so the soldering gun is heating back up and i will be back in a second as soon as i have that done it's actually really, really easy. All you have to do is take this off, move your bubble of solder up, and solder to the edge, guys. It's really simple. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's the exact same way I did it here. I just wanted to show you the difference because that makes it a lot of room that you have access to here. This shouldn't be tight to this battery or it'll short out when it's in the case because the battery will be up against the board. So that's really important. If you're not going to put a piece of battery bar on it like this piece, and that can be a really fiddly, annoying job to do. I'm going to try and do that for you, and I'll put a tiny little piece on. I'm actually going to use pliers for this job. So hold on. I'm going to try and set this up in the mount, and we'll get it done. Hold on. As always, we're heating up our gun. We want to make sure the tip is ready. We want the solder to melt the second it touches, guys. And that is a good sign. So now we know we're ready. We're going to take our target work. We're going to set it up here. We're going to break that bond, okay, that we have made, and it's really easy to do, guys. Now, I have a lot of solder on my tip, and you see that? It moved right out to the edge for me quite naturally. Now, we're going to let it cool. Now, we're going to move it in close for a visual inspection, and you can see I've gotten it nice on there. And now, when we pull this out, we have enough room to give a little clearance there, guys. That was all the goal was. That little bit of a move made a big difference out here from it being here and not being able to fit to now it'll fit in perfectly. So pay attention to that when you redo this. Now I'm just going to unplug my soldering gun, guys. And next will be I'm going to get out the glue gun. So hold on. So on another note, it's very important that you leave this long enough to cool. Like look at this. It's been sitting for about 40 seconds because you guys were on pause for a little while. And it's still smoking hot, guys. It's unplugged. So now, just to verify, before we glue every, gun everything in place, that this actually works, we're going to take this, and I'm actually just going to plug it into my cell phone here, you guys, and verify that it is charging. I know that both of these batteries are fully charged, and voila. If I plug it into the wall, no doubt, it will verify that it is also taking a charge. This is a very simple operation, you guys. Anybody can do it. So now we're going to take the second one. You'll notice it takes a little while to shut off. Okay. Voila. It's taking a charge. So, or sorry, it's charging the phone. I love this because they have two lights. One's red, one's blue. And now you'll see in a few seconds, this will just shut itself off, guys. Same as this one has. Okay. No problem. Okay, you guys. So here we are. We've got you in a clear view so you can see everything. Now that's done. We've got our glue gun heating up, you guys. Now with the glue gun, I'm going to show you how to tell. You take the tip and you give it a little squeeze. If you don't feel any, a small amount of resistance and see glue gun glue coming immediately, it's not ready yet. So I'm going to set it back down over on my workstation. It's one of the reasons I love my workstation, guys. It gives me multiple levels to work with. It's actually quite handy. I've gotten another table actually today that I've got to set up um, and I found in the garbage actually come to think of it yesterday uh, and it's awesome, awesome. It's one of the fold out wood tables, like a table, like a, a, a TV tray, but a really good one. So I'm actually really happy with that and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. 
just because it's absolutely perfect for what I do. So, I'm going to put that aside. While the glue gun glue is heating up, I may as well have a quick smoke. Now, at this point, you guys have pretty much gotten the hang of soldering. Um, I've showed you a little bit of it. I've showed you enough of it to know this is a really easy job, guys. As long as you solder to the edge of this so you have room here and here, okay? You want enough room that you can maneuver, but you don't want so much room that you've got a whole bunch of bunched up wires. Now, normally, this had a bottom on it. We're not going to do that, guys. We're actually just going to be laying these gently into the case all together and leaving the top off it so that we can see the lights more clearly. And we're going to put a little window into the aforementioned magic box. Okay. And once the window is installed, we'll be able to see. We've already done the first part of that by taking out a section where the batteries are accessed. This is going to make it a lot easier for us to access the batteries. They're going to be in this. And the next time you need to remove them, instead of ungluing everything, you'll just be able to pull these out, unsolder, replace the battery, and you'll be good to go. So, this should be ready. If I know my glue gun, and yes I do guys, see this? Now we're getting glue gun glue. So now what we're going to do guys is we're going to pull this aside and we're going to hit this right here with a whole bunch of it. But that's all. You don't want to do any more than that guys. You just want to cover these con contacts so that when it's locked in the casing, there won't be any shorts. But what you also don't want to do is glue it into the casing because otherwise it's going to be really hard to remove. It's actually designed not to need to be glued into the casing or they would glue it in and they didn't. So I just want to cover any area that's going to be contactable here. Also know that when they're out of their shrouds, these ones don't have their plastic shrouds anymore like these ones do. It's been stripped away. These ones still have their shrouds. That's what they should look like. Know that when these are in use, ow, this will be a problem for you because it's electrified. These lithium ion cells actually have an electrified casing. The whole thing is electrified when it's in use. So you need to be careful and not have that contacting anything that it shouldn't be. So all we've done is take a bunch of glue gun glue, cover each place that needs it, and that's it. So now they're ready for installation. So I'm going to install them and I'll be right back. Oh, I was just going to pause and just do it. But I think that it's really important that we cover exactly how these are to go in. Nice and gently. And you want to have everything lined up perfectly, guys, before you shove in the battery. And the reason is the battery is what makes it all tight. And you want these lined up perfectly. So you need to work it. And be patient and be slow about it, guys, because I've managed to get them just perfect twice now without too much trouble. But you really want to be careful. And this is what I was saying. You need lots of room to work with this. So as you can see, it's a very fidgety job. And it, it takes precision. Because this little bit, I just need to pull this away from the camera so I can see instead of having you guys see. You guys can see it when it's finished. If I can't see it, it'll never get done because this is one of those jobs. You really need to be paying attention for this, but it is easily doable. You can manage it. And there you go. It's just snapped into place. Nice and locked in. This battery is locked in as it needs to be. And if you want, you can take a little bit of that glue gun glue and hit it right in here because we're not going to need much to hold this in place. And what we want to do is hold it in place without risking damaging the contacts. And because we're going to leave this open, as I pointed out, this is actually going to be a better setup for us, guys. So here's the second one. And we're going to do the exact same procedure to this one, guys. I'm just going to slide this in here. Try and get it to line up nicely and shove the battery in behind it, okay? Like that. You want to put the back in first and then just slide this in until everything clicks. Okay? Like that, guys. And now it's locked in and it's solid enough that you can uh, work with it. And the real trick is you want to have it locked together tightly enough with the battery and if it is, it's like it should be, it'll just all hold itself together. 
So you want to put those in, see that? A couple of clicks, and now they're locked in place. And now we could have got this covered, and it's going to be the exact same drill for this, guys. A couple of quick dabs here. Now, I've already unplugged my glue gun because it gets so hot so fast, this one. Don't forget, we're not putting the lid back on this, guys. So if we want to, we can actually put a little thin line of glue gun glue in here just to hold that all in place, wipe that away. We're going to do the same thing here. Now that we've got the circuit board in place and everything is properly lined up, we're going to verify that it is first. Okay. And it's not the kind of thing where you say, oh, it's close enough. It's the kind of thing where if it's not perfect, you adjust it. Until it's perfect. Because once you put the glue gun to it, you're locking it in permanently. Okay. Now, don't forget, we're not putting the caps back on these because we want to be able to see the lights and have ready access to the batteries should we ever need to replace them. But now, these are both functional, and I'm going to prove it. So, we're going to take this, and we're going to plug it in. We're just going to leave this here like this. I'm going to swipe that. Now, if you have a big gloop like that, it takes a long time to dry. With this stuff, I found it's better if you actually use as little as possible, you guys. And voila, it's charging again, okay? So we haven't broken it. In fact, what we've done here, guys, is substantially increase the runtime. That's all we've done. Substantially increase runtime. Okay? So this one's got the same problem. That glue gun's not really drying because the glue gun glue, because the glue gun was really, really hot, and also because we put in lots of it. So if you're going to put in lots of it, don't do what I'm doing and mess with it right away. I'm just doing that to show you guys so you don't have to wait four hours. It's already a long video. So, I have now, ah, geez. So, I have flung my phone. I have proved I love you. The phone sacrificed. Okay, so now we've got this set up. It took a little while, but they are soldered. They are glue gunned in place. They are locked in nice and tight. This is now dry, so we can move it around. It's fine. It was only held in by this, guys. The cap didn't really hold these in at all. So now we've got this set up. They're nice and solid. Everything's locked in tight with the glue gun. They charge, they take a charge, and they are vastly upgraded, guys. These have, you know, 30% more capacity than they did before, which will translate to 30% more run time. In our setup, that is important because we're going to be running a bloody solar panel with it, guys. Keith out.